Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you how we can get a productivity score into your dashboard in Naxport. And this is an example here for football or hurling in JA. So with a productivity score, let's just take a look at what we mean there. So here, uh, Ben McGuckin and, and Kevin McGuigan uh, with research around productivity. And basically the scenario we're wanting to get to is where we want the information about the number of possessions the total score of a team, dividing those against each other and multiplying by 10. So that's how we get this productivity score. And what I'm going to do is show you how to get that in your dashboard. So you might recognize this template and this dashboard. And on here, we're going to focus around the number of possessions and the total score, and then we'll come to create a data label of productivity. So here's the number of goals that have been scored by team A, the number of points that have been scored by team A and this small data label here gives our total score. So a value of three for a goal, a value of one for each point. So the first thing we need to do is actually get this calculation and that means taking the value of a data label and times it by three our goals, taking the value of our points and then adding those both together. So in that sport elite you can use calculations in your dashboard and the biggest tip I can give you for that is that on your template, you add a single category button that you call calculate. And when you edit it, untick this option here so it's not visible, because basically you want to make sure that you never click that button. We want that calculate category to always have a value of zero. Mm. And what I'm going to do now is start building up a data label. So I'm going to go new data label. And this is why we have that calculate button, because I need my base value to be zero. So I press calculate and then I press my calculator tool. And what I want to start doing now is adding up the things together. So I'm going to take this the value of this calculate data label, which is always zero, and I'm going to start adding other data labels into it. So I need to press with other data label. And you'll see now I've got lots and lots of different data labels that are going on. So something in here which is really useful is if we jump back a step, if you find a background on your dashboard and hold down a left click, as I've done here, all those data labels will change to a white box and it will give you the data label ID. So I can see that I've got 17862 and 17863. They're the things that I need to add together. Okay. Firstly, I need to multiply 17862, this one, by 3, so we got a total score. And if I hold down that left click again, I'm then going to add on 17863. Okay, so lots of numbers, but we can see the premise here. So I right click and edit this one. And now I'm going to say with my calculate button here, we're going to take a data label of 17862, which was our goals, and that's selected. Then I'm going to add a numeric value here, and I'm going to say multiply that value by three. Okay, so one goal and we have a score of three points from that. Now I need to also go and add on the score from our points. So with other data label, and this is where we have 17863. So we've taken the value of the data label 17862, which is one goal, and we've multiplied by that, that by three to get a score of three. Then we've also added on the value of this data label, our number of points, and now we can get our total score. Okay, so let's have that there. TA score. And we've got five. Okay, so what we need to do now to get our productivity is take that total score, divide it by uh, the number of possessions and times that by 10. So let's take a look back here. So team's total score, divide that by the number of possessions then multiply it by 10. So we have our total score and we also have our number of possessions. So if I hold down the left click, we can see our data label over there, 17869. That's our number of possessions. So I'm going to do another data label. And again, I'm going to select calculate. Press our calculator and I want to start getting some values of data labels. So I know the last thing that I made is going to be at the bottom down here which was this 17908. 
So we're taking that total score and we're then going to do a calculation based on another data label. So we need to go to another data label, which is our team A possession. Okay, 17869, as we can see here. So we're now taking the value of our total score and then we're dividing it by the value of this data label, which is the number of possessions. Then we're going to have another numeric value. We're going to multiply that by 10. So we're taking our total score, which is this data label. We've divided it by the number of possessions, which is this data label. Then we times that by 10, as we've got down here. And now we could say that this is our productivity for team A. Obviously, we just replicate the same for team B. So if I go through now and let's say that team A has some more possessions. So I'll just go register some more possessions. Three, four, five. I'm just going to double click on the background of my dashboard. And we can see now we've got a productivity score 3.3 because we've got 15 possessions and a total score of five. We then went and added, let's say, uh, a shot here that was a goal. I'm going to register that on here. If I double click and refresh, I can see my total score is eight and then my productivity has gone up as well. We add some more possessions again, two, three, four, five, and I'm just going to refresh. Then our productivity score has changed up again. So hopefully there you can see how you can get productivity into your dashboard, how we can get total scores as well. And this all relies around having data labels, using that calculate function, and our secret tip of having a button in your template which you're never going to press, and I've always just called it calculate and I make it not visible because that has our default value of zero, then we can use that as our base to add on values of other data labels and start multiplying, dividing and adding on different values as well. Hope you found that useful. Cheers now.